and welcome back everyone. Today we have a Jeep Cherokee that's completely filled with pet hair. That was the primary service we were doing to this vehicle. We still cleaned up and shampooed all the seats and the door panels and the center console. But the primary thing the customer was concerned about is removing all this pet hair because, well, it's pet hair. It was literally under every seat, behind the seats, in the cup holders, in the nooks and crannies, in the door panels. It was on the carpeting, on the floor mats. It was literally everywhere in the interior. And like I said, on top of the pet hair removal, we cleaned all the interior surfaces so the interior looks a hundred times better once we were done. So now let's get into the rest of the video. For starters, when you're dealing with this much pet hair, you're going to make a big mess. Don't worry about it. You want to loosen up and break apart as much of the pet hair from the services before you start vacuuming. We went through this drill brush section, then we used the Lily pet hair brushes, and then we blowed everything out, and then we finally got to the vacuuming phase. So there's a lot of preliminary steps you have to do. The interior is gonna get much dirtier because pet hair is just a different, especially when you're dealing with this much pet hair, you have to approach it in a different manner. If you're interested in all the tools and products we use, they'll be linked down below in the description box. Also, you should really wear a mask with this type of vehicle just because, especially if you have allergies towards pet hair or towards whatever it is, then you want to wear a mask to protect yourself and just because it's kind of nasty throwing all that dirt and scent and pet hair into your face and in the air. Once we were done with the drill brush section where we just wanted to loosen up as much of the pet hair across the interior, which we primarily focused on the rear cargo side on this impossible carpet. Uh, next, we moved to an actual pet hair brush to see how much more we can get off with manually brushing the entire surfaces. So with, the, with pet hair, usually if it's in the rear cargo area with this type of pet hair and this type of carpeting, it's going to be the worst section in the rear. The seats moving forward, it was no problem whatsoever. The pet hair came out easily, it vacuumed up easily, the pet hair brush took care of everything, no problem. Your biggest obstacle with pet hair, when it's this much, it's gonna be this type of carpeting in the back. So just keep that in mind because at the end of the detail, we got maybe like, let's say 90% of it off. The customer was very understanding and still very, very happy. But moving forward on the rear passengers and forward, we got about 98, 99% of the pet hair. So just keep that in mind when it comes down to this pet, to pet hair in your interior. You want to make sure you're tackling pet hair first before anything else. Don't try to go and clean the seats and clean the door panels if you still have a ton of pet hair to handle because once you start working the pet hair, 
dust and dirt and the pear starts flying literally everywhere there's wind blowing throughout the entire detail so every time the wind would would blow the then we would uh, get more pet hair just flown across the interior so it's always going to be a hassle you're not going to get a hundred percent of it off that's just the way it is with pet hair And I wanted to highlight this tool again from Lily Pet Hair Brushes um, because here you could use your hand like with a glove on it and still get the pet hair out but you just don't always want to stick your hand because you can easily cut it, glass or something sharp maybe hand, uh, be lying around somewhere where you can't see. So although yes we did use our, our, our hands with gloves at some point, having different pet hair brushes to reach in different areas that you can't see is very very useful and specifically this tool here comes in handy a lot to get in those tight hard reach areas that you need something longer than your hand just shoving it in in somewhere where you can't see okay so now we use the drill brush now we, we already finished the um, with the manual brushing with the lily pear brushes now we're using our metro vacuum blow with the blow version of course to just blow any other loose dirt debris and pet hair out so we can easily vacuum it and we're gonna get into underneath the seats and the nooks and crannies to see if any, we can push out anything else before we start vacuuming because we don't want to have to we don't want to vacuum and then notice that we missed like a completely uh you know set a complete section that still needs to be agitated with an actual brush which is going to cause more work for us we want to loosen everything up get it away from the from the fibers of the carpet or whatever surface and make it much easier to vacuum Okay, so I didn't get to record any vacuuming part. Um, so now we're gonna move on over to the extraction part on the rear cargo area. Like I said, this fabric is much different um, than your cloth seats, than your floor mats. It's much thinner. The fibers of it is just different. So I'm not gonna oversaturate the area with solution, which we're using super clean diluted 10 to one. And I'm not gonna oversaturate it with the water when, when I'm extracting with the Aquaprovac extractor. So I'm just giving it a quick pass because obviously it needs to be shampooed because that dog's there. So we're gonna just do a quick pass with both the drill brush and our extractor. And no, the interior actually didn't smell bad at all. Yes, there's a dog in there. Yes, there's pet hair, but there was actually no bad smell whatsoever. And please excuse the angles you're about to see because I'm actually recording with my left hand and I can't see what I'm actually recording because I'm on my phone and I still have to look at what I'm extracting because I'm still doing the job. So not the best angles. This is the only shot I have of us using the McCulloch steamer on the interior, so I just figured I'd throw this in there.
and we're about to wrap it up there's still a pet hair because that's just what happens when we're still cleaning we're not removing we're not you know completely done and it's important to make sure you're checking all the areas you move the seats you recline the seats forward and backwards because you will miss areas if you're not inspecting all the different angles and sections in the interior and we're closing in on the detail this is now the final phase of the cleanup process where we've already vacuumed multiple times we've already done the drill brush multiple times we've already used the pet hair brushes multiple times and this is the last bit of pet hair that we have in the interior And I actually almost forgot to record the after, so we were still touching up some spots here and there. But I figured I just remembered I don't want to forget, so let me capture it right now. As you can tell, it's a night and day difference. 98, 99% of the pet hair was removed from the front cockpit of the vehicle. It's the rear cargo side that still has around like 90, that was a 90% removal. And look, I've never had a customer that complained about the pet hair that it wasn't removed 100% in the rear because they understand the fiber, they understand pet hair, they understand it's going to be everywhere where you can see. It's gonna be, so I've never had a problem. that's going to wrap up the interior hopefully you've enjoyed and learned something from this interior cleaning if you have any comments questions concerns leave those in the comment section down below check the description box for those links and resources and i'll see you on the next video